Hi, welcome. Today I would like to talk about uh, C sharp uh, regular expressions and specifically name groups. So let's get started. So let's say we have an input like this and we are printing it out and we want to remove all the empty spaces, how you can do that. So that's actually uh, very simple. Uh, let me uh, just uh, save some typing here and copy uh, this portion and I will explain it to you in a second. And as you can see, uh, what we do is we import the regular expression class, system test regular expressions. And there is a static method and we can call just replace. We provide the input. And this is a shorthand for removing all white spaces. And we're removing all white spaces so we get the input spaces removed. So we can uh, try it for ourselves. Now you can see our input looks like this. So that's, uh, in, in this case, that's one thing I wanted to do. So let's uh, look at the next step of how you can uh, work with groups. So that's actually also very easy. So let me just copy some code and I will explain what it is. And what we want to do is uh, we want to get a new regular expression here. So let me find out what it is. And let's just uh, set up the regular expression here. So what we are doing is we are creating a new regex class or a regex object. And in the regex object, we want it to match this input space is removed and we want to get the matches. And here we are just getting the matches. And inside the matches, we can access something called match.groups. And it's easy to see it has many other methods. For example, capture, and you can experiment with those, but specifically I wanted to talk about the groups so you can get the match.groups. So what it is trying to do here in the regex expression is what I'm saying is we want home colon followed by 10 digits. So slash D stands for any digit and this is number 10, any digits 10. And uh, I uh, enclose it within parenthesis. That's how you make groups. So we got parenthesis. So that's one uh, group here. And similarly, we are saying cell uh, colon and then we have another group of 10 digits. And so if you run this thing and we can access uh, all of the matches and here in, case, in this case is only one matches. Uh, and we are going to get the group access by getting group one and group two. So if I run this thing again, let's see what happens. So you can see it printed home dash, uh, which is basically here and then it printed whatever is in the group one. So you can see I got my cell phone, first cell phone for the home cell phone and also the other cell uh, home phone number and the cell phone number using match groups. Suppose instead of using the, having to remember group one and group two is a little bit hard and you want to use name groups. So what you can do is name groups. So this is your grouping and in this grouping you can put a name. So let's say I just want to put a name called home and the way to do it is uh, very straightforward you have a question mark followed by whatever name you want and so I'm going to put a name here as well uh, for this one and that would be sorry a uh, question mark and it's going to be called uh, cell for example so that's a name group so I've created two name groups the first one is going to match with home and the second one is cell so you can see we can still access it with group one and two but if you want you can also access it with the name groups which will make it easier uh, for somebody to understand what the program does. So uh, let's uh, do that. So I got the name groups home and cell. So the output, if I run this, it should exactly still be the same. Oh, I wonder why it uh, is not working. Let me do a quick shell uh, slash question mark home is the regular group. Okay. Uh, let's see if I made some mistake in my typing here. That is still correct, still correct, home and oh, I got some extra bracket here in my regular expression. So question mark cell, so let's run this. So here I, I just had a typo. So the name group has to be just this and cell is the name and this has to be question mark home and this has to be. So you can see you can access it through name groups. So obviously regular expressions is a very powerful way of uh, being able to parse your input and I would encourage you to know more about it. And I will watch this, add this video on my home website under Gore Associates under C-Shar regular expression groups. 
Thank you for watching the short screencast and you have a great day.